At any time of year, a visitor to India can be overwhelmed by its beauty and color. But a visitor in late fall is especially fortunate. The temperature will have cooled down, the monsoons will have not yet begun, and Diwali, the festival of lights, is at hand. Diwali is to many Indians what Christmas is to Christians. In essence, it commemorates the victory of the forces of light over the forces of darkness. To experience it fully, get up before dawn and head for the flower markets. Here, flower vendors work feverishly to create garlands of fragrant jasmine that Indians will use to adorn their homes. By dawn, they'll be sold out. Next, head for one of the temples, but go early. Later on in the day, they'll be packed. On your way over, you may see a curious sight. People hunched in front of their doorways, pouring colored sand on the ground. The sand takes the shape of a lotus blossom, a symbol of welcome. And today, millions of symbols of welcome will grace the nation's doorways. Indeed, Diwali is all about sharing. If you're staying in a private home, don't be surprised if the neighbors show up with plates of delicious holiday treats. Happy Diwali! Some cities also put on spectacular public displays of fireworks, like this one in Delhi. But no matter where you are, there are smaller, more intimate fireworks displays. A long day of celebrations is coming to an end, and it's going out with a bang. 